Hey guys, so it's Tom with the SS Motion here today, and we're not here today with a review. We're here with a look at a small custom piece I've put together, and this is my Gilly Sniper Outpost. So this is a small listening station and observation post, used by between one to two snipers at a time. It's designed to provide an overlook, an advantage point, and lots of cover to have a communication station as well. So as you can see from the front, it is using two of the base plates from the Desert Warthog set, EVA's last stand, a lot of shrubbery, and some pieces from high ground, some rock pieces here, if we twist it around, bit of a cobweb there, you can see the rocks a bit better, some more shrubbery and a shovel, Turning to the back, a great, some more shrubbery, a metallic pole, and yet more blocks. So what is the aim of this? Well, it's designed to be a place where a soldier would come and observe the battlefield, listen, and store his supplies. So here you can see a shovel merged in with the shrubbery to camouflage it. You can see a walkie-talkie, a silenced MP5, which would be the sniper's secondary weapon to extract with. You can see a small antennae, and this is intended to be part of the listening portion of the outpost, I guess. There would have originally been a console here, but I didn't have the pieces. Uh, you can see a water canteen and a pair of binoculars up there as well. In fact, I will twist it around so you can see a bit better there. So this will kind of be where the sniper would go hold position and look. And the sniper himself, here's the brand new 2014 Gilly Sniper. I actually took a part of his base plate to make this set, which is why you haven't seen a review yet. But I'm hoping to hopefully get another one to review yet soon. But a quick look at his weapon. You can see he has the default sniper rifle with a silver style bipod and a grey suppressor now. So that looks very cool. And you can actually balance it in between the rocks here. Like so. And then the sniper himself, I'll only give you a brief look in case you do get a review in the future. But here you can see him. And I will place him back there. So, when I opened the ghillie I was very quickly to decide that he was my favourite Call of Duty figure to date. So, with that being said, I quickly went about constructing a custom display piece for him. I think it suits the character nicely, I think it's built up to offer some good camouflage and it just generally I feel looks very nice. Um, I'm hoping to be able to gather some pieces to put together a forest style mock or something in which this would be at the centre fold of that with some jungle troopers around it. Uh, so yeah that's really all I've got to say for this. I thought I'd share this with you guys and see what you think of it. If you like it please feel free to comment below. If you don't like it equally and have any suggestions on how I could improve it, also comment below as I'm interested to read any improvements that you guys suggest. But apart from that, that's really it for this video, guys. It's been Tom with the SS Motion here today. Keep an eye out for more Call of Duty reviews and possibly more custom showcases coming up in the future. But for now, that's it, guys. This is Tom signing off. You guys have yourselves a great week.